Yo, man, it's Underground Media. We locked in with Jay Gunners, man. What's poppin'? Yo, what's good, gang? What's good? What's good, man? How you been, man? How you doing? Shit, regular. Regular. Well, yeah. so, um, on my platform, it's my first interview, you know what I mean? It's the first interview that people want to see. I just want to talk about the real shit. The lives of the people, what they got doing. And I just want to kind of introduce a lot of people to the new drill scene in the new world. Right? So, Jay Gunners, tell us about, like, your upbringing and the kind of where you were from. You know what I mean? Where you were born type shit. I was well, from New York. You know, you feel me? I relocated to Honduras when I was like four years old. I stayed there till like I was about 10 years old, you know? Shit, lived there, you feel me? Was just working on the farm, you know? You know, I had to take care of some animals, shit. Whatever, like, you know, if some eggs I had to trade for money. A lot of people be thinking like, yo, Honduras is beautiful, Honduras is beautiful, it's rich. It's beautiful, yeah, but shit, it be, it's crazy out there. You know, motherfuckers be crazy. They just gang infested in corruption, but, you know, you can be walking, you know, you can be walking to a barrio. It can be MS-13, it can be 18th Street. It gets crazy, you know, they suspect you're a gang member, you know. You know, you get get off the map. You deadly type shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, what, what would you say is the craziest thing you've seen out there in Honduras? Or the craziest thing, you know, you witness? I ain't going to lie. Like, i seen a couple of dead bodies. You know, you, you know, you could be chilling. You can be going into another village, you know? My family, they from the countryside. You know, we, we six hours away from the city. San Pedro Sula. But, like, i seen a couple of dead bodies, you know? A couple of limbs chopped off, maybe... Almost, you know, a head seven. Shit get crazy, man. They be bugging out there. They don't play around real shit. So, how 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 would you describe seeing something like that at a young age? And, like, how would you describe, like, what... For the people who don't know who maybe suburbs or maybe, you know, could relate through the hood, what would you say a dead body kind of looks like? Or what would you say, like, how does that affect you seeing something like that? I ain't gonna lie, feel me? Like, when I saw it, I didn't really understand because I was mad young. Mm -hmm. Like you, I didn't understand, but you can understand at the same time what was going on. But, like, me, like, I ain't really always stuck by and seen that because, like, you know, I was with my mother and my father. We went, and they keep they try to keep me away from that shit. But no matter where you go, whether you go into another village or another city or whatever, like, you just you run into dead bodies, you know? It's crazy. Like, there's blood. You know, you, you be walking... The mother will be in front of the body, screaming, crying. Mm. Shit is crazy, man. So it's not what you. It's not really what you wanna be seeing at the age of four years old. I'm, you know, getting older. So what, what would you say to people who are maybe on in areas like that, or in poverty like that, or in very bad places like Honduras or cartel infested areas? What would you uh, say for them? Any tips or advice, or any uh, you know, a way to maybe for them thank to help them going through that? Yeah, feel me? Like, be careful with what you're doing, you know? Don't don't be just thinking, oh, yo, we're going to have some fun. We're going to go out. Because now, nah, again, you never you never know when it's going to be your next time actually turning back to the crib to your moms. You never know. It, it, it can be the end of that night. It can be whatever time, bro. It can be on the way somewhere. It's crazy. It's like living there is like facts. War zone. You never know if you're going to make it back at the crib. So, uh, w when did you kind of leave that area and kind of come to uh, back to New York? You know what I mean? Shit, I came back to New York when I was 10. And uh, I didn't want to leave at first because, you know, shit, I felt like that was where I belong. Mm -hmm. But, you know, shit, things change, you know. We didn't really have another, a lot of money. Like, my mom was like saying, you know, I don't want to be here. There's too many dead bodies. She was basically just like worried for me and my Families, you know, safety. So, mother felt like going back to the states was like the best. You know, more money with the income and more safe. So, how how was it growing up in like your childhood, like your school experience, like going to school in New York, kind of being from Honduras and being a little out of the box? Like, how how was growing up? Like, take me through middle school, high school years of uh, Jay Gunner. Alright, so for me, like when I came back to the states, I ain't speak English. Okay. I ain't speak no English. I didn't even understand English. So, like, I came back, straight up Spanish. 
of course, you know, some some of the kids was, you know, giving me hard times about it, pressing me, or oh, you know, you're from here, why you don't speak English, you know, some of that shit. And then I would say, like, middle school, you know, I was still learning the English and stuff like that, pretty much, almost like that, you know. And middle school is where it was, I, I, I dealt with more, like, race, racist shit, because, like, all that shit be, feel me, like, it got me tight, but like, I was like, it's right, whatever, they just talking, they chatting. How do you feel like when, when they were being racist towards you, discriminated towards you? Like, how did it make you feel? I mean, feel me, like, I had a couple of fights with that, sh about that, with other kids, you know. But like, as a, like, more like going into high school, mm -hmm. I really care about it like that no more. Because it's like, it's whatever, you know. The world, everybody gonna be racist, whatever. You you got people as racist, people as not. So it's like shit. You gonna be dealing with it your whole life. So, how how was it for you in school? Was it trouble? Was it you know old age, educated? Was it fighting? Was it squabbling? How was it? Shit. Shit. Tell us, man. We we we, we here to know it all. All fighting game. All fighting. Damn. I was shit. It's, it's like once I came back from Honduras to the state, it's like I. B team by the time, bro. I didn't really. I was hiding, like I didn't really care, like shit. Anybody talked to me in a certain way, and I didn't like it, you know, pop in the mouth, straight up, just straight up like that. I was like. During that time, what would you say, like, through your middle school, high school, what was like the craziest fight or like the craziest altercation you got into? Shit, I think the middle school. Mm. I put somebody through a table. Damn. I got mad. Choke WWE type shit, man. Nah, like for me, <laughs> just like a. Just pin him on and dropped him. This was at lunchtime, though. Shit. So, like, he went straight to the table? He didn't go straight to the table. Like, he, he, like, the table, like, it, like, a, a vent. Like, he mm -hmm. didn't complete through, but it did enough damage to almost make the table break. Like, Damn. Yeah. So, what, what, what was that for? You know, because, you know, some people be coming up to you thinking they hot. You know, they be on hot, and then, shit. When they be saying that they always got they ain't always got the words you know to back that shit up so you know sometimes you, you need to show the much you talking to like that you know so you had you had WWE attitude adjustment type shit F5 yeah. to the table right yeah facts. <laughs> you gotta shit. do what you gotta do you know to let them know that you ain't on the fuck with like that shit down so yeah. I mean after high school kind of after middle school type shit. Where'd you see yourself at? Like, what, what was the head state? Coming out of high school, coming out the school system, what, what were your head at? And did you see yourself rapping? I ain't gonna lie. I didn't really see myself rapping like that. You know, I, I, I've been fucking with music, you know, this is my entire life. I've been fucking with it, but I didn't really, like, start actually taking it seriously. Like, you know, I've been fucking with it, but I didn't really, like, start actually taking it seriously, like, until, you know, I was, like, maybe 16. Mm -hmm. 17 maybe Shit like that So Why would you say Like you got into music What was about music And what was the Kind of Space Shit. again in that Shit feel me like You know Sometimes you know You You Ain't You know you in the trenches And you Can't really afford a lot of things You know maybe It can be a pair of shoes You know you got some fucked up shoes You need It's basically the shit you need in your life mm -hmm. You know to be set be able to go on so and shit like I ain't really o always like working at places you know because shit like I ain't really like to be told like what to do like that or you don't want to pull up what to do I ain't really like that for me so I feel like music you know is the way to go because you, you know you can go from independent or get you know sign and shit like that but yeah I sort of taking music seriously because of that and my man's Benny Bricks. Mm. Shout out to Benny. Word, man, word. Shout out to Benny. Shout out to Benny. So, where, where would you say right now, what, what's the future look like for Jay Gunners? If somebody's watching this, what can they expect with Jay Gunners? What, 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 what is Jay Gunners going to do? Tell, tell us a little bit of plan, a little bit of sauce, basically. Shit, I ain't going to lie. Just go straight up. Straight up, you know. I got a couple features with my boy Benny. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Word. You know, just going up. Get that money, shit. You know, be independent for a good amount of time. You know, show them what Jay Gunners is worth, what he's bringing to the table. You know, show what I got.